Hey guys, this is Mr. Crayfish and welcome back to my redstone tutorials. In this tutorial today, I'm going to be teaching you how to create an item transportation system. So what this could be useful for is, um, say if you had a mining hut down in the mines and you wanted um, to bring your items up really quick and then put them into a chest so you don't have to get them at, um, out yourself and put it in one, um, this is for you. So let's do a little example here. <coughs> Oh god, hard day at work, hard day at work. Let's put all this in. Oh god, I can't believe I uh, did this expedition of mining. Great, but at least they get paid for it. Uh, come on, yeah, there we go. Let's push that up, take it to our house. Let's go, let's go sleep. Oh, uh, yeah, oh, I don't have a bed. I'll have to sleep on the ground. But anyway, all my materials are in this chest now. So yeah, that's um, what it does. It brings it up from your mining hut, brings it up to your house. And yeah, it's just a really cool thing that you could add to your single player or survival hardcore world. And yeah, I'm going to teach you how to build it now. So what you are going to need is a minecart with a chest, three hoppers, five pieces of redstone, one redstone comparator, one redstone torch, two powered rails, three blocks of your choice, I've just gotten wooden planks and a button of your choice, I've just got a wood button. Now the first thing that we're going to do is the house section of this, there's two sections, there's the house and then there's the mining hut. Now what you want to do is you want to go to the back of your house or wherever your chest is and dig the block um, out behind your chest like that so you can see it. Then you want to get your hopper and you want to shift right click it and this will put the output of the hopper um, into the chest. Then you want to put another hopper in front of that, so if you put an item in this one, it will go into that hopper, then that chest there. Now, you want to grab your powered rail and you want to shift right click the top of the hopper so it puts it on there. Now we're going to do the detector, and what this is going to do is it's going to trigger this um, powered rail here to tell it to turn on or off, depending on whether there is items in this hopper. So to do this, we want to place a comparator right next to it, facing away from it, like that, and it should it should have directly the hopper next to it, like that, with the two bits there. And then in front of this comparator, we want to place a block there, put a redstone torch on top, block above the redstone torch, and then block right of the redstone torch, and then a redstone on top of that block. I'll tell you how this works. So we got items in here, it sends out a signal with this comparator. I'm not exactly sure how the comparator works, but this works. Um, sends out a signal, which it sends it into this block, and if you send a signal into a block with a redstone torch on it, it actually turns it off. So it turns off this redstone torch here, which um, loses the signal from this block, which is actually powering that one, which and then turns off this redstone and turns off that track there. I know it kind of that was just um, amazing to explain that in that little teeny area there. It's amazing how much um, redstone work is actually going on here. But anyway, we've done the house section, and now we're going to do the mining hut. So you want to go to your mining house or wherever it is, and below your chest. Let's just get rid of this. You want to dig a two deep hole, and then you want to dig the two blocks left of you. Do it one more time, and at the end here, you just want to dig the block in front of you like that, and then another block in front like that. Now on this ledge here, put redstone, and then below it, put redstone like that, and it'll look like kind of like a square, um, just munted. And then in this empty slot here, put your powered um, track like that. Then we need to get back up there, so I'll come back in a little sec. Now what we want to do is cover up all our work here, so. We want to put a block on top of that redstone there, and that will still work because it's going down that way, then down a step, then here, which that connects to that rail there. Now we want to put a hopper on top of this rail, so just easily right click, and then here we have to shift and right click to put that chest on top like that. Now get your button out and just place it on this block here, and that should power the rail below there. Um, if you want to, just don't put this on first, just put the button and just test if it works. It should work though. Now the last thing that we want to do is connect the mining hut rail down there to this rail here. Um, I didn't mention this in the materials because this was going to be varied depending on your um, 
distance from your hut to your house so I didn't mention the materials so what you're going to need anyway is some rails, powered rails and probably some redstone torches. Now um, we're just going to dig two down here, two across here and it should link back up to our um, a rail there that we can see it and a little tip about this you don't want the minecart to come too fast up here and um, land on here because if it comes too fast it will actually go too it will go really fast bounce back and go back down to there and won't have enough time the hopper won't have enough time to recognize that there is actually a, uh, a minecart above it so make sure it's not going too fast when it comes up here you might have to play around with the speeds um, also a little tip here is you want to make sure you have two flat rails on the ground here um, not a flat rail then an upwards or it will actually get caught um, on here so make sure you have two flat rails there then we're actually going to put a powered rail here oops I said a powered rail powered rail powered rail and we're going to place two blocks here actually one block and we're going to put a normal um, track there and then just powered there and we're going to power that up and the last thing we've actually got to do is place a our minecart with chest on the track here so we put that on it will go back down and by default it stays down here now what we're going to do is just test this out to make sure it works so we're going to put stuff in here all the stuff that I uh, um, had for this tutorial that you guys may have not seen um, because my inventory was closed most of the time now we're just going to just leave that right there so yes, uh, as you can see, that was a little too fast, and now what we're going to do is just um, adjust the speed. So I'll just go grab that cart that I put in there. So we need a bit of rail, just that speed, and we'll take uh, we'll take this one off here, put that like that, and we'll just change the position of that redstone torch. And that was a little glitch there. Um, this is actually recorded in the snapshot, so don't worry. Now the items are still going in it. We'll test that if it goes up. And yes, that was a good speed, even though it's not directly on it, it's still going to work. And if I right click on that hopper, everything is going into that um, hopper there, which then goes into the other hopper and comes into this chest here. So that is the end of the tutorial. I hope you have um, enjoyed this and actually learnt something. Um, you can play around with the designs yourself. Um, you don't have to exactly follow this. I, that's mainly what my tutorials are for, just to show you how to do this and you can just experiment. So remember to leave a like, I do put a lot of effort into these and I'll see you guys next time for another tutorial. Bye.